the prevalence rate of diabetes in the United States population is approaching 10%, and for our seniors, over 25%. Diabetes causes great human suffering with its many complications, such as stroke, retinopathy, coronary artery disease, neuropathy, amputations, and chronic kidney disease, or CKD. CKD is defined as an abnormality of kidney structure or function that persists over three months and is arguably the most detrimental to quality of life. Diabetes is the primary cause of kidney failure, accounting for 44% of all new cases annually. Medicare spends nearly 25% of its annual budget on CKD alone. Unfortunately, nearly 6 out of 10 people with diabetes are not screened for CKD up to national standards. The National Kidney Foundation Kidney Disease Outcome Quality Initiative provides clear guidelines. Annual screening for CKD should begin five years after the diagnosis of type 1 diabetes and immediately with the diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. All patients with diabetes should receive yearly 1. A serum creatinine test 2. A urinary albumin creatinine ratio ACR, on a spot urine first morning void is preferred and 3. An estimated glomerular filtration rate or EGFR. Elevated serum creatinine suggests that the patient already has CKD. When reviewing ACR results, if at least two out of the three samples in a six-month period shows one of the following, ACR greater than 300 mg per gram, ACR greater than 30 mg per gram in the presence of retinopathy, or ACR greater than 30 mg per gram after 10 years of type 1 diabetes, the patient likely has CKD. An EGFR of 30 or lower warrants a referral to a nephrologist, as the patient is at high risk for CKD. ACR values should be quoted instead of the less accurate micro and macro albumin terminology. Samples should be disregarded if blood, bacteria, high levels of glucose, or uncontrolled blood pressure have contaminated the test. When in doubt, retest. EFRG should be monitored over three months in diagnosing and staging CKD. Stage 1 CKD is possible with a normal or elevated EGFR when ACRs are elevated. Muscle mass impacts EGFR values and are not reliable in cases of extreme weight or height, limb amputations, in children, or over 75 years. As healthcare providers, we have a duty to properly screen annually for chronic kidney disease in those with diabetes and prevent unnecessary suffering. Let's move our country's healthcare to one of prevention and wellness. Let's save our kidneys. In loving memory of Owen O. Hughes, this video was made possible from the Anna May Berg Spaniolo Faculty Practice Enrichment Endowed Award at Michigan State University, College of Nursing.